Hi everyone and welcome to Storytime Today. Today I've chosen the book The Very Hungry Caterpillar. This book's written by Eric Carl. Let's get started. The Very Hungry Caterpillar. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple. But he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears. But he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. But he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. But he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. But he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. Oh. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. After that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out and... <gasps> he was a beautiful butterfly. Now I'm going to ask you some questions. Be sure to pause between each question so you have time to think and answer. If you need to use the book to look back, that's perfectly fine. What was shining in the sky when the caterpillar was born? What does the caterpillar eat on Wednesday? How many pieces of fruit does the caterpillar eat all together? Can you tell me on which days does the caterpillar only eat one thing? Why did the caterpillar have a stomach ache? Have you ever had a stomach ache after eating food? Why do you think the caterpillar had to eat so much food before wrapping itself in the cocoon? Can you name any other animals that might do the same or similar things to the caterpillar? For example, eating a lot of food before having a big sleep? How long is the caterpillar inside the cocoon before turning into a butterfly? In this question, I want you to have a think and then turn to your partner to discuss it. What do you think will happen when the butterfly lays eggs? My final question for you today is, if you were the caterpillar, what foods would you have chosen to eat? Thank you for joining me in story time today. I hope you enjoyed the very hungry caterpillar as much as I did. See you at the next story.